Welcome to AM Best Audio. Amid an environment of surging auto insurance costs, customers have ramped up their shopping. That's according to the latest loyalty indicator and shopping trends report from J.D. Power, conducted in collaboration with TransUnion. I'm John Weber for AM Best Audio, and I'm speaking today to Stephen Crudson, Senior Director, Insurance Business Intelligence for J.D. Power. Stephen, so glad you could join us today. Hi, John. Thank you for the invite and happy to be here. So, Stephen, what are we seeing in the way of auto insurance shopping? We're seeing over the last couple of years um, more volatility than we what we had normally seen. So if you go back to a few years back, you go back to the onset of the pandemic and uh, most of us were staying home, not driving as much. Um, there were premium relief efforts from insurers. There wasn't as much shopping going on. That's around the time that we launched this loyalty indicator and shopping trends product that we're talking about today and the data from that product. And what we saw uh, for about the first year of that product into 21 was um, fairly flat shopping, not a whole lot of change throughout the year. And then when the hard market set in in 2022, uh, be, well, uh, began to set in, then we saw more volatility in shopping. And if we really zero in on the last 18 months, what we saw in the first half of 2023 was after multiple rate increases, consumers were reacting by going out and shopping. And many of those consumers were finding that it was difficult to uh, find an insurer that had a lower premium than the one they currently had. And what that led to is in the second half of last year, uh, fewer consumers were out shopping than what we saw in the first half. In fact, in the fourth quarter of last year, we saw a month over month over month decline from October into November into December, a lower and lower shop rate each month as more consumers were kind of just staying hold with what they had and not looking for a, a more competitive premium. Now, if we look at the first quarter of this year, we've had another um, six months of rate taking in the second half of last year. More consumers have seen another renewal on their auto policy with a with an increased premium. And here in the first quarter of 24, we're seeing a massive increase in shopping. In fact, um, this quarter that just ended, Q1, was the highest shop rate we've seen in that loyalty indicator and shopping trends list product uh, since we started that research in 2020. Uh, we're, we're also seeing that it's an, a continual uptick throughout the months where March was the single highest month of shopping uh, that we've seen so far in, in the almost four years of collecting this data. So it sounds like consumers are, are bucking some recent trends then. Yeah, they sure are. Um, we're, we're, we weren't terribly surprised by what happened last year. We thought that, okay, in the first half of last year, there were still some insurers that weren't as aggressive in taking rate. And perhaps cons consumers could find a lower premium when they went out and shopped. Um, but as more and more insurers were increasing premiums throughout the year, uh, consumers saw it was just really difficult to find a lower premium. And something else that was happening as insurers were pulling out of the homeowners market in states like Florida and California, that had some effect on shopping, especially among consumers who wanted to bundle an auto and home policy. When they were seeing in the news, they were hearing from friends, family, neighbors that it was difficult to find a homeowners policy. Those who wanted to bundle auto and home together were really reluctant to go out and shop um, either of those policies because they were they were fearful of what difficulties they might face in finding a new homeowners insurer. Interesting. So how is the insurance industry reacting to all of this? Well, the insurance industry is kind of um, it's kind of a cat and mouse game a little bit right between the insurance industry and the carriers and the, and the consumer. So. Uh, carriers are really doing what's best for their uh, financial future right now, which is to get their rates to be adequate. Uh, rate adequacy has been an issue across the industry for a couple of years. We see industry level combined ratios over 100. Um, and lately, if you look at Q4 results and some uh, year end results for 23, there are emerging signs that insurers, at least some insurers, are reaching that rate adequacy goal. And perhaps they'll pull back a little bit on the rate taking behavior. There are some notable, notable exceptions, though, of insurers who are having difficulty obtaining rate adequacy and, and still having uh, fairly poor underwriting results. So the way we're looking at 24 is it's going to be a very likely to be a year of, of imbalance, um, whereas in the last couple of years, essentially all insurers were looking to increase premiums. Now we'll see some that aren't, while others are. And I think we'll see consumers, as they have over the last couple of years, react to that in, in their shopping behaviors. We'll see as, as insurers are um, 
more aggressive at taking rate, we would expect to see their consumers maybe shop more, uh, maybe not immediately. Again, we've seen some lag effects in the shopping rate, as we talked about from last year's data, but we'll see consumers react to that. And I think one thing um, we also should keep our eye for, out for is what does happen with inflation? There's been some um, changes in expectations lately with that. And does that lead to higher claims costs? Does that cause a resurgence in the need for insurers to uh, to take rate, to reach that rate adequacy? So I think right now we're going to see kind of in consumers reacting to what insurers do and insurers are going to react to what is happening on the claims front, what's happening to the cost to, to pay claims. Customize your data experience. Best Link now offers an interactive company dashboard that provides company-level intelligence in a fast, user-friendly interface featuring interactive tables, charts, and sparkline performance histories. Customize the dashboard tiles to prioritize the insurer ratings, data, and analytics that best support your workflow. AM Best. Our insight, your advantage. Uh, that being the case, Stephen, any suggestions as to what insurers should be doing to make their product more sticky and keep customers from shopping around? Yeah, that's a great question, John. We've been doing research on customer satisfaction with auto insurers for 25 years now here at J.D. Power. And there's some there's some truths that are just held true throughout that whole period. And one that we really highlighted lately, consumers tell us year in and year out um, that the most important driver of their satisfaction and we know that satisfaction drives their loyalty, their stickiness to an insurer. The most important driver of their satisfaction is the degree to which they understand their policy. If you think about what that, what that, that, how that manifests in today's environment, um, claims experiences are different than what they were a couple of years ago. You think about a traditional auto claim, a repairable vehicle that might have been repaired in two, two weeks, two and a half weeks is now taking much longer with supply chain constraints, labor constraints. Um, and then other elements of the of the insurance experience um, not being necessarily at the same level they were in the past. Consumers are really looking to understand what the what the promise that they were made by their insurer really entails. If they don't understand that, they might feel like another insurer is offering a better deal when they're not really comparing apples to apples coverages. They may also be set up for a worse claims experience because they don't really understand what their policy covers and what it doesn't cover. So insurers that are looking to keep that that customer to be stickier. Of course, generally speaking, a better customer experience does that. But specifically, what we've seen in almost all the studies we do in property casualty insurance is consumers need to better understand the policy they're buying from their auto insurer or their homeowner's insurer. In other words, the insurer is making that promise to be there for their, their customer when something goes wrong. They need to be doing a better job of clarifying what that promise really entails, what it covers, what it doesn't cover, how all that works, because most consumers, unlike many of us, most consumers aren't thinking about insurance every day, and it's not something they're all that familiar with. Interesting. Stephen, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Happy to. Take care. That was Stephen Crutzen, Senior Director, Insurance Business Intelligence for J.D. Power, and I'm John Weber for AM Best Audio. Looking to get the attention of the insurance industry? We have the platforms to do just that. Whether it be AM Best TV, AM Best Audio, Best Review Magazine, or Best Day. Find out more by contacting our Advertising Services Business Development Team at 908-882-1706.